Okay, today um, I finally made everything okay. Uh, my temporary set up uh, for the oil burner, which is the uh, my air intake there. It goes into there, and it goes up into here, and it goes into the cup here. Uh, that's my temporary. Same thing with here. And also, too, it's burning right now. It's been burning for about 40 minutes. And you hardly, uh, if you look at it, uh, there's hardly any um, smoke. Startup, there is smoke, definitely, because you have to heat up. But after that, you can see right there, this has been, what, 40, uh, almost 45 minutes. Um, and the burning rate on this is I'm gonna zoom it out for a second and I'm gonna show you inside uh, absolutely there's no smoke here only if you open the door if you open the door it will smoke up if you peek inside that's a smoke right there and it's burning pretty clean nice and clean but if, as I open it you can tell the change is there I actually put this on today to make sure uh, I'm testing this one out to see if it is contained uh, for the drip rate wise uh, I'm gonna show you really quick uh, right there see that drip rate that's the drip rate right there I don't know if you'll be able to count them uh, I did stick a lot of paper towel in there when I was starting it because I started with kerosene but other than that, uh, it's been burning like this for about 40, almost 45 minutes. That's my timer. I'm going to shut this again to make sure that it's burning correctly. So it will stay stabilized. If you look at it, so it doesn't smoke up. But um, is it hot around here? Uh, here starting to be hot now. I actually put on its leg now So uh, the the heater came with the the leg, which is it's, it's really helpful uh, You can touch it here And here it's actually cool. It's all cool down here. I was surprised uh, But from here on you won't be able to touch it anymore. Uh, of course, this is temporary um, and if I open the door then you will see the air changes. When the air changes, the smokestack is still okay. I mean, if I if I turn on the the fan like high, a little higher, then you can see the air will change, and you can see the smoke changes. Um, I'll show you right now. But uh, the flame start to come a lot now, and as you can see, tons of shit coming. Uh, the chimney, I'm surprised it's still clean. The only thing it's not clean is around here because now look at it. I'm putting out a bunch of smoke now because it's, um, it's burning too much, I guess. But uh, I guess to find your rate, um, that's important. And the door is also open. That has a lot to do with it. I was I was really scared before um, because, like I said in the other videos, I'm going to use this inside for the winter. Uh, but as far as I put up like that, then the chimney becomes nothing. Even though this is actually a four inch pipe which is not going to be like that because it's actually I'm going to put it on a reclaimer and then uh, I'll finalize this video for the last time but like I said it's just a, a temporary setup um, but other than that everything it's all look good uh, I actually did something different with my burner and then I didn't like it um, I'll walk with you and uh, I actually drill a hole through here. Make sure you drill a hole through there, and I actually stick the pipe in like some people did, but that didn't do too no good because it actually leaked down. Uh, the oil got so thin and it leaked, so I didn't like that concept. 
uh, I was burning this with the tin foil. I knew the tin foil was gonna burn, but um, that was the fail failure of, of of that contraption right there. So I wouldn't advise you to do go that way if you decide to make one of these. Um, the best was I thought this was actually going to be hot on me, so I got a little scared. But it, I was surprised; it was really cold, cool to touch. Like I can just hold it right there. Uh, although this is kind of hot, this has been 45 minutes. I won't be able to touch it too long. Within two seconds, it's already hot already. But and I'm not. And remind you, I'm outside. Um, so that's my only thing. And I'm about to run out of oil because I made this video. I, I had to test it before I make the video. Um, just to make sure that everything's working okay. But um, that's the final of that. It's, it's pretty much running it down. It's boiling down to this last thing now. Um, you can see it's no longer dripping. Just dripping a little bit left. Because I don't have that much oil left in there. So it's going to burn its last thing right here. And that's it. But um, for the burning ray, you saw how it's dripping. So I would say uh, what I did was about 20, uh, 20 minutes per cup. So if you time that out with 20 minutes per cup in your gallon. Or in uh, European whatever you m the measurement you're using but the flame is a little bit higher this is just dying down now because i don't have any left uh, but it took uh, i would say 45 minutes for it went all the way up to here and look at it it's it's going down to this last thing so i would guess that's it on that one it, it's an average of 45 minutes for two cups so, but I would uh, rate it at about 20 minutes per, per cup, which is 8 ounces. Anyway, that's it on this one until I get to my next one, which is the final installment. But uh, as far as smoke-wise, there's nothing there. Uh, and I'm pretty happy about it. I thought it was going to... When it, I first started, it actually smoked a lot, so I got a little scared. But um, that's pretty normal, and I'm going to start with kerosene, which will be a little easier to, to smell and stuff. Um, and plus the neighbor won't be yelling or something. But um, other than that, uh, it's pretty, I was surprised, it's actually burned a little clean. Um, and then I set up my fan, like this temporary on here, just to make sure that it's working okay. And it's actually working pretty good on that one, which uh, I taped it. And that's how it goes, and it goes into there, just like that. So, uh, that will be it on that one. Other than that, um, I'm going to finalize this uh, pretty soon. I'll see you in the next video.